So give it a go. So for making these stuffed aubergines, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients we're gonna use. Now I've got my aubergines there, I've got four. We might need three, but I'm just gonna bake four of them. We need to cut them in half, a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, bake those in the oven. Now for making the sort of filling, obviously we're gonna use some of the flesh from the baked aubergines, but I'm also gonna use some lamb mince, about 400 grams, maybe 500 grams of lamb mince. Spices, now I've got this one here, which is cumin seeds I've ground in my pestle and mortar, but you could use ground cumin, one and a half teaspoons. Cinnamon, ground cinnamon, one teaspoon. Nutmeg, now I tend to use like the whole nut and grate it, and I've got half a teaspoon of nutmeg. One teaspoon of paprika. Now this is not the hot paprika, this is the slightly sweeter one. So one teaspoon of paprika. Chili flakes, ground chili flakes. Probably only for me about a quarter of a teaspoon. You could add a bit more if you want, you know, if you want it hotter, it's up to you. Salt and pepper, olive oil. And then I've got a can of chopped tomatoes. The reason I've got that there is because we need to add in five, six or seven tablespoons of tomato sauce. I'm gonna use a can, just quickly make my own homemade simple one. And if I've got any left for tomorrow, I can have it on my pasta. So one can of chopped tomatoes. Now I've got a cheese there. You can use any cheese you like for the topping. I've got this one, Machego. It's a Spanish cheese, it's delicious. So that's the one I'm gonna use. Now the other thing that's gonna be in the filling is one red pepper, which you need to chop down get rid of the seeds, one onion, again, chop it nice and fine, and we've got four cloves of garlic. So that's all the sort of mixture that's gonna make up these stuffed aubergines. Now what I'm gonna do first of all is switch the oven on, get my aubergines, cut them in half, and get them prepared to go in the oven. Now I've got my oven switched on, so leaving that to preheat. Now what we need to do is just to chop these in half. If they've got little stalks, like this one has, then obviously try and cut it right through the middle of that as well. So that's those ones done. Now what I'm gonna do is just do the rest of those. Now grab yourself a fairly sharp knife and what we need to do next is don't go right through to the skin, but just cut the flesh like that. Obviously it's a little bit deeper down there, but careful around the sides. That's it, just go through like that. And then we can go back the other way as well. Just like a little diamond pattern. That's it. Like that. So now I've come round the knife and just made those little diamond cuts. Now what I'm going to do is push this back and I'm going to get myself something, ideally that would be big enough to take them all, but I'm not sure this will. We'll see how we go on. Right, let's just pop those in there. I don't think we're going to get them all in. That's it, I'll do those ones in there. But also, I've got another one, a little bit smaller, because I did think that might happen. There you go. So we've got two to do. Now what I'm going to do with these is just drizzle them with some olive oil. Sounds like loads coming out, but not that much. But you know, not enough on there. And again, same on the other ones as well. Lovely. Then what we can do is put some salt on. And some freshly ground black pepper. There you go, so we've got olive oil, salt and pepper, they're ready to go in the oven. So I'm just gonna place the aubergines in the oven. Yeah, put that one down there. Put the other one up there, that's in jubbly. Now, leave those cooking. Temperature-wise, 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark six. I'd say for about half an hour, could be a little bit longer, but we'll check them in half an hour. Now in the meantime, I'm gonna go over to the hob and I'm gonna start making the homemade tomato sauce and getting all the sort of lamb mince fried up. Now originally I had four cloves of garlic and I'm gonna use 
probably about one of those just to put in the sauce the rest of it can go with the lamb now I've got some olive oil put some of that in let's switch it on start off in about a medium heat and then you can bring it down a little bit lower so let's just switch it on quickly that's it I'm just going to turn it down a little bit now And with the garlic, you don't want it to burn, you just want to get the flavours out of it. So 30 seconds to a minute really. I think we're just about there. And I'm going to pour in a can of tomatoes. Just get the last bit out with some water. Put some salt in there. Like that. Now also, I do tend to use a little bit of sugar when I'm using the cans of tomatoes because you get a bit of acidity. So I'm just going to put probably about a teaspoon. Obviously you can do that to taste however you like it. Now I'm going to put that on the back burner. Again, you know, fairly lowish heat. Just have it bubbling away. That's it. Now I'm going to get on with cooking up the onions and that now. So let's again put some oil in there. Turn the heat up a little bit. Now the oil's just warming up, so let's go in with the, uh, the onions. Chopped up reasonably fine. quick move around in the oil. Also, I want to put those red peppers in. Just mix that all around. I'll add a little pinch of salt and again a little bit of white pepper now really with the onion mixture we're going to be cooking this for about 10 minutes in total if the heat is too high then obviously turn it down a little bit I might just turn mine down a fraction for a moment now I've got those spices Put all of those in there, and I might as well put the garlic in as well. So, this sort of onion mixture, I've left mine for just come up to 10 minutes, so I think it's time to get the lamb on the go. Just going to make a little place for it. Now, I'm just going to add again a little tads. Pour on there, just a little bit. And then what we can do is go in with the, the lamb mince. Now what you can do is just turn the heat up. Just try and get a little bit of colour if you can on the lamb. So turn mine right up. And again, just going to turn mine over. Just trying to get a little bit of colour on the meat. So what I'm going to do next is just start mixing it all up. Just turn the heat down a little bit. That do it. We've only been cooking the mince, you know, four minutes, maybe five minutes. Now also, with the tomato sauce, I know that tastes good because I always do it the same and it's, it's really good. But I'm just going to put some of this sauce. I mean, obviously you can put as much as you like. That's it. I'll leave that just bubbling away in the background. 
and very low because I can use that for my pasta tomorrow. But again, I'll give this all a mix. So since we added that tomato sauce, roughly five minutes has gone by. So in total, this sort of in the frying pan is at about 15 minutes. Now I just want to try a little bit, see what it's like on the season in front. Mm, nice. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt because now is the time to adjust it. Again, it wouldn't hurt a little bit of freshly ground black pepper because. Apart from just adding the sort of flesh of the aubergine in there, this is pretty much done. So I'm going to switch this off now. Now I'm going to go over to the table because it's just about time coming up to take those aubergines out of the oven. So I'm going to go and check them because they've been in there just about half an hour. So let's go over to the oven and have a look. So I've had the aubergines cooking in the end for nearly 40 minutes. I did check them at 30 minutes but uh, just a little bit hard, so I thought I'd pull them out, leave them extra for 10 minutes. So they've had just about 40 minutes. Now I'm gonna put that on the table, and we're gonna scoop out some of the flesh. Now just taking the aubergines from out the oven, they are gonna be hot, so if you can wait a minute, well, five or 10 minutes, be easier. Oh, I'm gonna grab a bit of tissue, just go for it. And what you wanna do is just kind of gently scrape away some of the insides but try not to go through to the bottom so be gentle and just try and take off some of the bits that's it i'm just going to add that in with the lamb mince so i'll carry on doing that with all of them but the main thing is try not to damage the skin if you can so i've finished all the aubergines in the end i've scooped them all out put the mixture in with the lamb and now that will make a nice little presentation for putting in the lamb mixture. Now obviously I've got that there with all this aubergine and we're just going to give that a good mix and then we're going to start filling them all up. But obviously I've got eight halves to do so we'll see how we go. I don't let's just start putting it in, try and share it out a little bit evenly. I think we should have enough. That's it, just on the last bit. So that was about right with four aubergines. And we're going to put that, there you go, on top there. Done. Now we've just got to put some cheese on there. Now I'm going to be using manchego, some nice Spanish cheese, but obviously you could use whatever you like, a bit of parmesan, a bit of cheddar if you like. I mean I think the cheese really makes a nice topping, but obviously, you know, you can put as much or as little as you like. I'll do the rest of them. Now we've got the aubergines all stuffed, we've put the cheese on top, that's ready to go back in the oven. Now what we're going to do is place it back in the oven, slightly higher temperature, we're going to put it in at 220 degrees Celsius, 425 degrees Fahrenheit, or gas mark 7, and we're going to cook for about another 8 or 10 minutes until the cheese is just sort of bubbling on top. Now just take the stuffed aubergines from out the oven and they look wonderful. That sort of cheese, little bit golden brown, they look delish. Now what I'm going to do is serve one or two of those up and I'm going to try it. Now in the end I decided to have two halves because this is kind of like my main meal. So let's just put a little bit of salad with that as well. That's it. Right, let's get stuck in and try that. So where should we go in? I think we'll try here. Bit of cheese on there and all that juice is look at it juicy that's juicy flavors in there let me just get some of this oh yeah mmm mm. mm. oh really nice and saucy you've got the tomato sauce you get a bit of cinnamon you can taste a bit of cumin the cheese and the lamb of course that is delicious I know it's a little bit of mucking about, scraping out the aubergines, but apart from that, it's all pretty straightforward to do. It is really tasty, so if it appeals to you, go and make it, because you'll enjoy that. Thanks for watching my videos. If you like